the legal team, Geek Sensei, history, Raven, Sam, Mr. Blitzstick. You three, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, man, about that. We are live, guys. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitzstick. J1 Further Disciples. Welcome to the gaming channel today on Free DLC. We're talking about Amy Henning and her comeback, not only with a Marvel game, but also with supposedly, you're trying to cut out Star Wars, you cut off one head. Was it will come back? Well, the force is just, <laughs> the force is just too strong with a with Amy Hennig in it. That's what that's what it really is, isn't it? So, and I, when I heard this news, I was quite excited, didn't it? Because mm. obviously she was working on the ragtag project with Visceral Gate with EA Visceral. That's what they're called, right? Visceral yeah. Studios. Um, before they shut that down, mm. and that game sounded really interesting, like an Uncharted style. I think they said suicide, like yeah. Suicide Squad esque, so like bounty hunter ish, That's like it. take on a Star Wars game, and it was like images and stuff like that out there as well, concepts mm. art, and it mm. looked super legit. And I think because of just her pedigree, where she comes from in terms of like working, creative director, working on the three Uncharted games and stuff like that, I was really excited. Do you know what I'm saying? I had jumped on Uncharted Four, mm. so I was just like. I know she didn't work on that one, but she la laid the groundwork to mm -hmm. get to here. Mm -hmm. So I know she got an understanding of what you need to put in a game to make it amazing. So I was really gassed about it. And then really disappointed when they when EA, EA being EA doing some dumb, you get me? So, but I'm glad that now it's come back almost full circle and That's she's true. getting to work on a new Star Wars game as well as a Marvel game, innit? So, mm -hmm. bruv, I'm gassed, fam. I'm, I'm actually super gassed. And I'm just excited for the future of Star Wars games and even Marvel games as well, bro. That's it, yeah, because yeah, I think that's like very two good properties that she's now like picking up with. I think it's Skydance now, isn't it? Yeah, Skydance, Skydance. her own studio. That's it. So that's uh, really kind of crazy. Again, like I feel like we do need more Marvel games. We're getting another Spider Man. We're getting the Marvel game. We've had Guardians of the Galaxy, which hasn't really picked up in sales or whatever. So they're debating whether to continue that or not. But I heard that game is really good. So I feel like we need to get more Marvel games and, of course, DC games because there's more than just Batman. Yeah, I'm 100% I'm hundred, <laughs> hundred percent with you. I want to stay on the Marvel thing. Like, I gave Guardi I played Guardians maybe once or twice mm. and I felt like it didn't grab me straight away. But at the same time, I feel like I was fighting the whole my beef with Star-Lord. So I'm okay. going to revisit the game yeah. and put the bias to a side mm. and, and get through it. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, because I do want to test out these Marvel games and... I feel like it's super legit. Like obviously we've got Wolverine in the works That's coming. Right. Um, I I really would like them to take and and this is mad. I I had this idea while watching Moon Knight. Mm. Moon Knight, Assassin's Creed Origins. Sheesh. Like, mm. can someone make? Can we work with this? Can someone work with that? Like, Marvel. If you're looking for an open world RPG s game. Maybe a character like that, a character that's not as well known mm. as like an Iron Man or something like that is a kind of ground you can play with, especially with where you're at with Moon Knight now. Um, and not being a, and it's just me just because they don't dig as deep into the mythology as they want. I know in a video game, mm. they would. Yeah, That's why I'm onto it. Mm. That's why I think something like that would be sick. And multiple characters <clears> leads <throat> for multiple kinds of like dynamics to play, but I, I wouldn't go the Deadpool route and make it all funny. Oh, yeah. I would go... The darker militant, like like, assass and that with an Assassin's Creed vibe, like mm. Assassin's Creed games take themselves kind of seriously. Yeah, that's where the energy should be. I think mm. if you're gonna do something like that, so I'm excited for that. And also, like, if she was working on like a Black Panther game, a creative director of that, obviously I wouldn't want her to be the only creative director. But get me, like, I feel like something like that would be interesting as well, just because of the unchartedness. Oh, get me. I was gonna say maybe more. of like Black Widow because obviously her movie wasn't that great so I feel like she's very good at character story driven mm. um, stories or whatever and I feel like obviously they did flesh out Black Widow's story and whatever but I feel like like I said there's the games that they do they can really go into the back flesh out more characters maybe even more relationships that she had you flesh out the relationship with Hawkeye with Captain America all that kind of stuff I'm, I'm, I'm not and against that at all yeah, it's just be interesting to see what character they do take, but yeah, I feel like just take maybe someone that's not too well known, like we're all saying as well, just someone that's not been done yet, not been done, maybe in MCU or maybe just being introduced to something. And 
I hear you on that. I think it's either you do someone who's not been done yet or you do someone who's not got enough shine, like a Black Widow, mm. like a Hawkeye video game, I think would okay, be super legit. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You can mix martial arts into like his weapon combat. You can have different play styles because he goes Ronin, mm. but he also is like classic Hawkeye. So there's also like a PG element or an R-rated element to it, like depending on certain... And I know this might be crazy for Marvel because it's Disney, but then you could flip on gore or not have it on. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or... You in that include that into your difficulties. Do you want to go mm. rolling or do you not? Do you want to be your friendly neighborhood hawker? <laughs> Get me. But yeah, fam, nah, bro. I'm like, this information is super legit, super gassed about it. Go on. So the Star Wars game, you think are they allowed to pick up from their previous project? No way. Down? Yeah, because that's no probably way. a visceral project. But yeah. is they just going to be like, do a horrible moon where it's like, it is that, but it's not that? Now, let me tell you what I really want, yeah? I want them to take the bones and the DNA that they was putting into Star Wars 1313. Uh-huh. I want them to take oh, that's it, yeah. yeah, take the stuff they had from Ragtag, mm. slap that together, and then do whatever else you want. Mm. Bro, because we're getting eight games, I'm like very... App- like, I'm not... Just give me the games. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm, not, like, I'm not getting nitpicky because I know like every type of game is being made. There's an RPG, there's an open world, there's a first person shooter. Like, so I'm open. Just mm. produce the game in a timely fashion. I don't want to have to wait seven years for it. Mm-hmm. Two years, three years. Give me the thing, bro. Yeah, it's interesting times because it's like, I do want to have a bounty hunter game because that's really have been touched. I think there's like one or two. It's but not then touched by anything. But it's like you're a Mandalorian. So I'm like, I was going to say make a Mandalorian game, but they're, they're, there's a lot of shine in Mandalorian right, right now. now. Mm. So like, maybe touch on the whole bounty hunter thing. He's good obviously with uh, shoot and cover games. Yeah. So from, That's um, why 1313 for me makes sense. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, like, I hear what you're saying about the Mandalorians, but I, it's okay if you give us a good creator character mm. or if you give us a good I don't want to say a human character but a, hu- a good humanoid character mm. do you know what I'm saying and potentially it's or a, or a droid character do you know what I'm saying I don't feel like that's been explored either mm. like these are the kind of differences that you should be throwing into these games and thinking about like what can we do with the franchise that other studios can't do or haven't done mm. do you know what I'm saying like playing as a droid I think that would be mad like do you know mm. what I'm saying like a like a um, like an IG eleven mm-hmm. type of that where you can upgrade your character, you can do bare stuff, or maybe something where you can switch characters, where you can have three, a team of three. You've picked all three of them, mm. and then they've got different abilities and stuff, bro. Like I want them to to kind of push, bro. Like we're we're in this PS five world now. <laughs> Unreal Engine five is out here. Yeah. Like you, man, got like just push the boundaries. Do what you can do. Email the Cybernets. We've got, we've got ideas and concepts for you. Super ideas. Super ideas. But yeah, man, it's just yeah, very interesting times. Like, and just the Star Wars universe is, like, it's very big. But I just want them to be, like you're saying, just 30, like, yeah, that just bears the whole... <laughs> what? 30, 30? 30, 30, 30. Bro, like, I know they can't go and take it, but it's like, you go with that little peep at him. Like, yeah, okay. The thing is, I think Amy Hennig is the kind of person mm. that, that would be in her mind. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just because of, like, being a creative director, I know she's probably just got a deep knowledge on all of the other Star Wars games that's come out, the stuff that hasn't come out, and I'm hoping that like, something like that's floating around in her mind. Mm. Bruv, and 1313 resurfaces every two years with some new, like, bro, how you might still got new gameplay footage in 2022 yeah. of 1313? Like, where where was this? <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's still stayed in people's minds for a reason. The same way um, Knights of the Old Republic is getting a remake. It stayed mm. in people's minds. It's going to be there. I just hope the, the Battlefront situation kind of gets resolved where we've got a single game that's focused just on first-person shooting and vehicles, third-person gameplay is taken into something else. And we kind of, like, we break up the Battlefield game into multiple games. That's yeah. what I would love to do. Mm. Get me? But yeah, man. Yeah, super interesting times. Like, more games are coming. More Marvel games are coming. Everyone's got to catch up, basically. But yeah, guys, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. Or if you're in the Discord, make sure you hit it over there. Discord, baby. Discord. Join the ting. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. J1 Further, the Cyber Nerds.